Good morning, folks. While it was a relatively calm day on the Earth-facing disk, the southern incoming limb will offer another excellent test for the Earth-facing solar quiet effect soon. Sunspots and a big filament. We'll have some eruption threats in a few days and we'll come back to the sunspots. We also have more filaments growing to the north. The earth-facing coronal hole has kept the quake watch elevated, and yesterday was a fun day on Twitter. Folks, I don't know why I finally got the cojones yesterday to post location-based earthquake warnings for the first time, but it ended up being a fun day. We posted the outgoing longwave radiation anomalies map, and although the global index level stayed the same at quakewatch.net, we did issue location-based warnings there as well. Two hours later, a strong earthquake and a number of solid fore and aftershocks struck that area. They are still ongoing this morning. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find solar flaring still significantly depressed. Remember, the next uptick is due in about a week when Mercury conjoins the Sun. Sunspot situation is largely unchanged. The most complex spot may not have delta-class magnetism despite its solid size and umbral count. While solar wind normalizes slightly above average speed, up in blue we see a shift in the phi angle of the solar wind, and in green down below we see that it was about 30 times hotter than the previous stream. Combined with the above average speed, Earth's magnetosphere took a disruption yesterday that once again may have been underreported compared to the level 3 storm shown on Karuna's K and Q indices. Folks, the top story today is a tragedy in the animal kingdom. Saiga are one of the smallest members of their family and are probably on their way out. With only 250,000 left at the start of 2015, about 40% were lost by May due to disease. The remaining 130,000 were cut in half over just the last two weeks. A mass die-off of Saiga has occurred, and at the 100% herd mortality rate once infected, it mirrors the May event. Take a look, folks. Remember it. Let's pull ourselves together here. We need some greater focus on the OLR anomalies associated with earthquakes. The first of a multi-part examination of these anomalies is presented in Deeper Look Episode 88. You'll want to go to the actual episode page for the link used. Much more coming in that area. Cyclone struck Sakota and remnants go to Yemen while India takes landfall from an earth spot potentially associated with that Sumatra earthquake. Over in the Atlantic, we have a storm brewing that will only be important for the islands. Meanwhile, we'll run through the pressure and radar forecast for our top viewer locations, followed by the current conditions of the amazing North Pacific Earth spot situation, and shots of our star to close. It's 5.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.